Speed. Hello, Braves. I'm Griffin Tierney. And I'm Say Cows. And welcome to our spooky Halloween episode. Shay, are you planning on doing anything special for Halloween? I'll probably just spend Halloween watching scary movies with family, or maybe even summoning an army of underlings. Sounds like a great time. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. Congratulations to the Braves marching band for winning first place in Class A at the Simon Kenton Band Interventional. Our, mu our student musicians also won awards for best music and overall effect. Go band! Ms. Morrison joined fellow innovative teaching and learning coach Lauren Richardson and Indian Hill Director of Technology Mark Richardson in getting the International Society for Technology and Education certification in February of 2020. Each completed a portfolio project of evidence of work in each of the IESTE standards for an educator, which include learners, leaders, citizens, collaborators, designers, facilitators, and analysts. Congrats to our Braves Tech teachers. Griffin is gone. So is Shay, but Griffin returns with Maddie in a new Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader segment. Let's check it out. Can you hear me? This week, in honor of Halloween, Griffin and I are going to be figuring out how scarily smart our braves are. Let's cut the camera! Cut it! Cut the footage! Bricks are used as building materials, which are traditionally made of what material? Like brick. Which number has no representation in Roman numerals? Zero. Oh, good work. Which country is both an island and a continent? Africa. <laughs> what do the interior angles of a triangle add up to? 90 degrees. <laughs> it's 180. OK. <laughs> what is the smallest prime number? One. It's two. Who is pictured on the $20 bill? You can answer. <laughs> Madison. It's Andrew Jackson. What animals can live both on land and in water? Turtles. Yes, but it was supposed to be amphibians. Oh. <laughs> what do you call a word used to describe a noun? Um, that's a good question. An adjective? <laughs> good job. <laughs> <laughs> what is the largest ocean? The Pacific Ocean. She phoned a friend beforehand. No, no, I had the answer. I was just verifying. <laughs> I was verifying. Does the sun orbit the Earth? No. Good work. <laughs> yes, it does. No, it does. Good to see that the bar has lowered. Hmm. Maybe we can graduate this year. Congratulations to the Indian Hill Computer Club team. The team won the Cyber Challenge at Inter-Alliance of Greater Cincinnati Cybersecurity Competition this past weekend at NKU. Way to crush it, Braves. After school next Tuesday, November 2nd, there will be a Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead celebration in room 217. There will be pan de muertos and hot chocolate to eat. All are invited, even those not in Spanish club. If you want to participate in the shrine celebration, bring a shoebox and a picture of a personal idol like Michael Jackson from Thriller. We have replaced the others, thus making us the superior anchor duo. In other words, Aiden and Habe have a fresh sports report this week. Let's check it out. Thank you, Reese and Matthew, and welcome to this week's sports report. I'm Abraham Hayes. And I'm Hayden Lenz. We had quite the spooky week this week, so let's get right into it with boys soccer. The boys defeated Summit on Tuesday 2-1 to one, with an outstanding performance by Pumbaa to move on in the playoffs. They take on Bellbrook Saturday at Lakota East in the district final. The girls put up a great fight on Monday in a loss to Wyoming 2-1. to one. The girls had a great season coming in fourth in the CHL. Great job, girls. Football took a tough loss last Friday to Reading 12-8, to eight, but the Dogmen are ready to bounce back better than ever for their first round of the playoffs. They take on Milton Union at Milton Union tonight, so everyone show up to support our Dogmen. Girls field hockey played a tough match but came up short as they lost to Oakwood 1-0. to zero. Great season, ladies. For cross country this week, Hayden Withers came in first in her district finals race. The boys also move on to regionals tomorrow. Good luck, everybody. Well, that's all we had for sports this week. Back to you at the news desk, guys. That was a great report. So riveting. Indian Hill High School junior Elsa Zhao just completed an independent research project on cardiovascular medical devices under the mentorship of Dr. Sujata K. Bohita, a professor at Harvard and the University of Delaware. 
Zell presented her findings at a Biomedical Engineering Society, BMEAS, annual national conference held in Orlando. Congrats to a fantastic brave. Wow, it seems like Reese and Matthew weren't cut out for the job. Now we reign supreme. So, Garrett, what are you following? I'm a country bumpkin. You're as cute as a... Well, I wait. That's as cute as a pumpkin. Thanks. What are you? I'm a pair of french fries. Oh, uh, that's lame. Okay, well, that's all we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Was that gutter? All right, everybody. It's 2 a.m. We're headed to go set up base camp right now. Got my boy Hayden. What's up? Coming for the ghost, baby. All right, so we got Abe. We sent up the tent real quick. We sent up the damn. I don't um, know what I'm doing, though. But we're a little lost. I think that broke. What you got, Hayden? Dude. How about food? Yeah! Uh, we were hearing crazy noises throughout the night. We both woke up and we were like, we gotta whip out the camera, you know? So we might go take a hike real quick. Uh, yeah, I think we, it's a good idea to go step out on those haunted grounds. All right, everybody, we're out here in the haunted grounds. This looks really creepy right now. We'll get back to y'all. Oh, that's a sign. That's a sign. L16. He's counting down the amount of people here. Is it his body count? Continuing on the right path. Let's go, go. Okay, guys, so I just heard a noise. I didn't hear anything. Abe didn't hear it, so I think the ghost. Ghost might be trying to speak to me. So I'm gonna go out for a sec by myself, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay? Abe. Abe? Abe? Ah!